Okay, so I'm making this video uh, with the new Hotec SCA laser collimator. Uh, I kind of got it sent to me and I was having some issues with the stars being way out of collimation. Uh, Message them back, I was basically about to return it and uh, they called me with the actual technician to kind of run me through. They sent me a new version of the manual as well. I got the lights off to do some checking, but right now basically this one's brought version 9 and even this one reading through it and doing it it seemed like it was a lot different than what they're walking me through so this is what we did kind of set it up on the tripod it is up and elevated tilted a little bit uh, this is tilted as well this is a c11 edge hd with the fast focus system it doesn't really matter it's just a uh, secondary mirror gets adjusted for focus instead of the primary mirror this system comes with this little panel. It's got some LEDs on it, as well as the little mount that's underneath it for adjustments. And it comes with a visual back piece that has this bullseye here. That one was the main difference. It's not really talked about in the manual as much, but it actually comes into play really largely. This one, we adjust this panel to get the inner beam to the the outer blue circle, that's a new piece too, is a new blue inner circle. Uh, it'll create this donut shaped right here. And this is basically just measuring your secondary mirror as far as being in and out for this panel and making sure it's fully uh, equaled on all sides for this one. So for this, it goes to the edge right here and it goes all the way around, follows the same circle. So that means it's centered, it's good to go. Uh, he also had me take the secondary mirror out and then come over here and look at the visual back that made uh, another plus on here and it was actually off. So to correct it, I had to correct the plate up here as well. So it basically made another small uh, crosshairs thing and I adjusted it. It was actually off uh, pretty significantly. So that was good to see. Hopefully it equals better stars uh, got clouds right now so uh, once I did that I put the secondary mirror back in that means everything was lined up and another big change was that the corrector plate gets adjusted at the end so first we adjust the secondary tilt so that's uh, new wording but we basically go to the mode to where it shows uh, two and you get these dots these extra dots on there. If you don't have these dots, uh, you change your focus. Uh, so when I first did it, my focus, uh, the primary mirror was all the way back and then that's how I adjusted it. So the dots were actually getting hidden by the secondary mirror. So you just basically adjust it to where these dots come to the outside. Uh, the main one for this is you try to get them aligned into the same circle piece. So this right here in the middle of this outer one, make sure all the three of those lined up then you'll come to the back and you'll see this dot here. If you did that focus out, you'll have the single dot. If you didn't have that right, then you would see the three dots uh, separate on this. So you basically bring the focus until you get the single dot. Uh, mine was off on this too, so I basically adjusted. Uh, what did I adjust? I adjusted the three plates, the, the tilt, until this centered. All right, so adjust the tilt of the secondary with the three adjustments or the bob knobs or the screws on the front to get this centered. And then those three circles will be out of placement. So this was a new part was to get those centered again, you do the secondary, uh, not the secondary, the, the secondary plate. Is that what it's called? It's called the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, the corrector plate. So you have to undo the eight screws in the front, uh, just loosen them up, and then you have the four Allen screws on the edges. That one was not mentioned at all in the manual, and that's kind of interesting to see that they do that at the end. But basically, I had to adjust this quite a bit to get this laterally placed and then center it over here. And then, of course, you have to correct and make sure that'll move this dot. So then you adjust the tilt again of the secondary with the three screws. So whether it's this fast focus system or the secondary mirror that's got the three screws, it's all the same. It just adjusts the tilt of the plate, the secondary mirror. Uh, 
then of course you just keep going back and forth until everything's centered. So you get the center dot, you have everything tightened on the secondary mirror and the corrector plate, and you have everything aligned with the dot, the, the lines on that inner circle, the little small diffused circle right here, and then the three dots all lined up. Uh, kind of wanted to do that just in case someone was having issues as well. Maybe they just threw theirs in the back of the closet thinking that it wasn't working right. Uh, of course, I still have to test it with a star, but uh, going through that new procedure was a lot different than how the manual says it. The new manual they sent does have a uh, mention about doing that, but it's all the way at the end where it basically says if you still have issues to do it. The simple fact that they had me do that at the beginning would mean that this is actually something that's a pretty common thing to do for this system. It also comes with these little pieces of tape, uh, basically cover the center laser, and that's how you find that circle piece as well. It highlights it a lot better uh, just to make sure it's centered. Uh, the main thing, of course, was getting this tripod and everything set up and then hearing about the new uh, the new procedures and whatnot but kind of hoping that it works we got clouds so I can't really test it until probably Monday or Tuesday but with that new procedure I was definitely off uh, my collimation I had the stars trailing to the southeast so it had like a, a little shadow tail to the top of it and to the left. Uh, that was exactly what my adjustments ended up correcting. Uh, yeah, and we'll see how that goes. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, running through this with the actual technician was really easy to do. And like I said, the way the manual reads it, it was not described that way at all. Uh, the only thing that was really the same was just putting the arrows at the very beginning uh, to that certain spot. But as far as the adjustments, uh, I mentioned to them that they can definitely change the way it is. And he was pretty open to suggestions. Uh, yeah, it was good. They called me. It was like 630. I told them that's when I was available. So they got good support for that. The email support isn't the same, and I guess they said the same thing is it takes a little longer to get through for that. Uh, but once you get a hold of one of the actual technicians, it was pretty easy. All right, see you later.